Hi and welcome, I am Helle from Game for Life BG and today I'm going to take a look at Ticket to Ride, Northern Lights and this is a game for 2 to 5 players. It takes about 30 to 60 minutes to play and it's for the ages 8 plus. And in this video I will look at the rules for the game, I will give you an overview and then I'm going to come with my impression of the game. I have set up the game, I have already placed some trains on the tracks and I have used all 5 colors. It is for five players, so there are five different colors. And uh, in Ticket to Ride, you have a map, you have some trains. Each player is going to get 40 trains of their color. And then you're going to place trains on the map. And what are you doing? Well, you are trying to connect cities. Each player is going to start with one. Uh, well, they are going to get four cards, and then they're going to choose two, three or four of them. And then they are going to try to connect the cities. So you have the city names on the top of the cards. And then you have how many points you're going to gain. And then where they are placed. So you can look at these to see where they are placed. That is a lot of different. Oh, this one is 19 points. So if you got this one, you would need to go for Murmansk to Copenhagen. Uh, but that would bring you 19 points though. So you're going to grab at least two of the four cards you're going to be dealt at the start of the game. And then each player is going to have two, three, or four tickets from the start of the game. And of course, when you choose the tickets, you're going to try and choose tickets that are going kind of in the same direction. So you, you don't want things that are going up here, down here, and then maybe this way. That could be difficult for you to fulfill all of those. Because if you do not fulfill a ticket, it's going to bring you minus points. So if with, with the one for 19 points, if you fail and do not connect the two cities with your trains, then you're going to get 19 points in minus. Okay, in this game, each player, they're going to start with their 40 trains and then two to four tickets. And then... On your player's turn, you're going to have turns in order, and on a player's turn, you're going to either draw new cards, you're going to build trains, or you can take new tickets. One thing more we have in this version, we have some bonus cards. If you see, we have four bonus cards up here, and this is bonus cards where you can, if uh, at the end of the game, the player that have, has fulfilled a bonus card the most is going to get the card and also the points. So this one would be 7 points. This one would be 10 points. And uh, so there are a lot of different of these. You're going to shuffle them and place 4 cards up here. And with this one you have here the player that has built the most of the ones that only require one train is going to get that bonus card. And this one the most the player that had built to the most cities in Norway with the Norwegian flag is going to get that bonus card and so on. So we have bonus cards. We have we have three things we can choose from when we on our turn. The three different actions. You can draw new of these. If you want to draw new tickets, you can draw three. And then you're going to look at them and you have to choose at least one of them. You can also choose to keep all three of them. These two are kind of going a little bit maybe in the same direction. So maybe you would want to keep both of these. Uh, and maybe this was not good for you. So you could keep these two and then put this one back underneath the stack if you're not going to use it. But that is one turn. You can choose new tickets. Or you can choose to draft cards and you can have as many cards as you want to, to your hand. This is a thing people are going to do at the start because you need cards before you can build anything. And you can you can draft two cards. You can take from the face-up cards or you can take from the deck. There are eight different colors. And then there is the Joker tile or the Joker card with the locomotive on it. If you take this one, you can only take one card and it has to be the first card you take. So if I took this one, I can't take any more than one card. But if I now took this card, then we would refill with a new card here, and then you're going to draft a card. And uh, if you have three or more of the locomotive cards, it doesn't matter. In this version, if you're familiar with the other versions of uh, Ticket to Ride, then it's okay. You're not going to uh, discard the cards. Not in this version. So you can draft cards. Or you can build. So when you have something, then you can build. And uh, these 
only cost one train, but you have to have either a yellow or a blue train. Here you have to have an orange and black, yellow, and if you have some of these, then they are special. And let's take a closer look at these. When you build, you're going to score points. And if you build one, two, three, four, or five trains, then you're going to get one, two, four, seven, or ten points, depending on how many trains you are building. If you build to a space where you have this locomotive, then you have to pay with a joker card, a locomotive card. Or you can pay with two of the same color. For that, will, that, that is the only way you can pay for these gray locomotives. If you want to build this one, then you have to play, pay with two joker cards and then three of the same color. With these gray, you just need three of the same color. It doesn't matter which color. And if you see this one with the plus card on it, then this means that when you build this track to this track, you're going to uh, you get the, to draw three cards from the deck, from the top of the deck. You cannot take from the face up cards. It has to be from the deck. And here, if you build this one, you would get to draw one card. So if you wanted to build this one, then, for example, if the black player had a lot of cards collected, they could use a joker card for one of them, two of the same color for the other one, and then, for example, three white cards for building these. And it can be any three of the same colors. And if they build, then they are going to put in five trains. And then they can draw. They will get this bonus, so they're going to get to draw three cards from the top of the deck. And that can be joker cards, that is absolutely fine. And then they are going to get points and five, they're going to get 10 points. So they will go up to 15 points. Where you have all of these, this is called uh, ferries that is going over the water. So this is ferry areas where you have these locomotives. Players, they are going to draft a lot of cards. They are going to build on the track and then they're going to draft new tickets when they have fulfilled, maybe when they have fulfilled their tickets, they can draft them at any time as a turn. So. Players are going to take turns in an order and build to the board. And then at some point when a player has two or less of the trains left, then you're going to go to the final round. And after that, each, you're going to see how many points you have scored. And then you're going to score for each of the tickets you have to your hand. And you're going to score for the bonus cards, for the players that have fulfilled those the most is going to get the, score, uh, the bonus cards. And if you have some tickets you haven't done, then that is going to be minus points. So that is how you're going to play the game. And this is a game that I have played a lot. I have the old version from back at the start of the 2000 when the game kind of came out. Uh, I think it's from 2004 or five. I can't remember exactly when I got it. But I got one of the very early versions. I actually got a German version of the game. Uh, it's Sukum Suk in German. And uh, and this is the, actually the first version of the game where you have the American map here. Um, and and on this one, it's very similar to this version. This version does have just have the bo these bonus cards, which you don't have in the original version. And then you have these fairy where you're going to, uh, you have to play, uh, pay with a joker to, to, to pay for these and you can exchange. And then uh, you have a bonus with these cards that, that, that you do not have in the normal version. But I do like uh, this new version of the game and I like this map. This is of course a new map and you have some new cards with the uh, cities you can, uh, to, you can travel to. And of course you have Denmark in here. So my city, Copenhagen, is all drawn on the map. Oh, I was born. I don't live in Copenhagen, but close to. Um, and I like that they added with the bonus cards. So you're going to compete against the others to see if you can fulfill some of the bonus cards the best. So you're going to score them. And I all I have always enjoyed playing Ticket to Ride, and I still do enjoy play enjoy playing Ticket to Ride. I also have it on my my phone. You can have it uh, as an app, so you can play it on your phone or your tablet. And uh, it, yeah, I think it's an easy going game, and it's enjoyable. And it's always you're going to get different tickets, so the the games they're going to be different when you play them. And this is a really 
easy game to introduce to new players. And it's it's still fun playing after you, if you have played it. I mean, if you are an experienced player, it's still fun to, to, to play the game. It's uh, simple in the way that you're going to draft cards, you're going to build your trains to the track, and then there is still a little bit more limitations to it, depending on the number of players you are. If you're playing with the two players, then all the double tracks and the triple tracks, only one of you can place trains there. So no, you cannot both place a train there. If you're playing with the three uh, players, then you you uh, on the double tracks, then only one of you can place on the double tracks. You can all place on the triple tracks. If you're playing with four and five, you can place on all the tracks. But then again, you are going to be more people competing for the different routes. Because there might be that a lot of you want to go one way, and you might have to take a detour if some other people, like the red player maybe they built here, and maybe the white player also built here, and the yellow player wants to go this way. They actually wanted to go that way. Then they have to take a detour, they have to go this way, or maybe this way. Or maybe they have to go up here to get to a city they need to go to. You can also be on Loggy, so a city will be, uh, be uh, surrounded by other players, so you can't get to that city. And then you're just going to score minus points for that ticket. So when you take new tickets, you're always going to look at where are they, the other players building. Do I think I can reach my goal without other players that are going to block my way? And you also have a limitation. Each player is going to start with 40 of these uh, wagons. So you only have 40 in all. So you can run out of them. So maybe you, uh, there will be some goals that you can't reach if you have to take a detour at some point. But yeah, that is some of the fun in the game. And, and also can be a little bit frustrating when you play. And then you, I just want to go this way. And then someone else takes your route. Like, no, did you really have to place the trains there? Because I wanted to go there. This is an easy going game and I like the new take uh, with this one compared to the to the original uh, ticket to ride where you have the bonus cards you also have you're not going to throw away these cards when you have uh, the locomotive cards but you're also going to use a lot of them because you need to to use them on a lot of these spaces and I like the thing they have added that you can actually use two of the same colors for one color so that makes it easier for you to, to, to go use the fairy tracks on the board. So you can just get two of the same color and that would be the same as this one. And I definitely like that we have a new map to the board and it's uh, nice with new cities. And you can learn you can learn some geography when you play Ticket to Ride. Because there are some cities I definitely didn't know about before I played this version. And, and it's fun when you play the new version. It's like, okay, where is this city? Where is this city? Uh, until you, you have played it a couple of times, then you're going to get a hold on where kind of a sense of where all the cities, they are located. But yeah, that's some of the fun when you play some of the new Ticket to Ride, learning some new cities around the world. But I personally definitely enjoy Ticket to Ride, and I like that it's an easy-going game, and a game that I can introduce to new players. And this was my look at the new version, Ticket to Ride Northern Lights. Thanks for watching.